What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today is the recap of South Africa versus England, the third and final test. South Africa winning the series 2-1 at the end of the day. But let's get to last night's match. My word, Cape Town hasn't seen rain for a very long time and did it only not rain on, well, it wasn't raining, but that field was damp. It was a messy game. It was a messy game. Players were sliding. I don't know if you saw the start when um, our African friends were coming out doing their, their traditional dance and stuff. The guy even slipped. The players were slipping. It was it was quite hectic. It was a tough game to play. Like first and second tests were exciting. They were electric. There were tries being scored. Players were going at each other and it was just like strong determination of, of rugby. But this game was just pretty much protection, trying to hold on as hard as you can to that ball, not letting it go, but players were slipping. Um, it was yeah, it was a boring game, if I can say. Um, credit to England, kept disciplined, kept focused, um, was strong. Owen Farrell, his kicking game was outstanding. He looked really strong um, and it was a different, it was a more controlled English side who were showing up on the day to win. Um, and they just kept their cool. Too many errors from South Africa's point of view, as in silly mistakes to give away these silly, stupid penalties. Um, England scored a great try and South Africa scored a great try as well. But um, it was just a, a kicking penalty game and ugh, there's nothing more boring than that. But credit to Owen Farrell for, for really going at it, um, taking the team to another level. He didn't look as whiny like he did last, year, last week. Um, they looked more focused and strong and they needed that win. They needed that win or hell was going to break loose, I think, in England. Um, I wouldn't want to be on the plane facing the media when you arrive back. But truly, an incredible series we, we, were, we were treated to. Um, and it was development of both teams. Obviously, England having lost six consecutive games in a row to finally have won one, which is fantastic for them. Um, South Africa showing a different type of team. Um, Rassi was really experimenting well with, with the boys and we could see who shone and we could see who failed. And I hate to do it, guys. I tried last week to find a positive, but Alton Yankees, you let us down again. You missed a kick, um, knocking on the ball, giving away, the tackling was poor. He really needs to work on it. And you're probably going to find next week when he, or whenever the Super Rugby kicks off, he, and he's going to put on that Lions jersey. He's going to play the best game. I don't know what it is at the international level, whether whether it's just pressure, but he just he just doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. And um, Chili Boy Ralapile, another player who I don't rate. I don't think he's the, the man for the job to be hooker. I would have rather had Bongi in there or Akafana Mav. Um, I wanted to see them develop. Chili Boy's old now. He's been playing for a long time. Let him play provincial rugby and focus on development of new players. Um, that's what we should be doing. Um, Yankee is, uh, I hope he comes right, I really do, but he, he wasn't impressing me last night. Um, and yeah, it was just, it was a sloppy game. Um, I was disappointed with it. Fuff still showed a lot of heart. And there were players who, who still sh uh, stood out from the others, which is what you want to see. But again, it, it was tough conditions. Um, it was wet, it was sloppy, it, was, it wasn't it was a pleasant game, like I just said. Um, so I think we, I wasn't as bummed with last night's loss. It didn't affect me as much. Um, like a mate of mine, was, he was quite like, come on, man, we need a win. But I said, you know what, at the end of the day, let's look. South Africa have won this series. They've shown improvement, they've shown development. Rassi experimented with this team, especially last night, and we were expecting that. We wanted to see something different, give like the other boys a chance that they haven't had a chance and um, experiment. Then number two, the the ball con the, the conditions of the field was was shocking. I mean, it was so wet. There was so much dampness on that field. It was hard to play. I mean, when the guys like got tackled to the ground, they slid another f like freaking four or five meters because it was so um, wet. So I'm not going in taking too much into account from last night's game. I'm not affected, I'm not upset. Obviously I wanted to win, I wanted a whitewash for South Africa's sake, but I've seen development, I've seen improvement, and that's all I wanted to take away from the series. We won the series, which is unbelievable, considering where we were this time last year, uh, well, last year's year of rugby. So we're developing. 
I'm happy for England that they've finally got a win. Because at the end of the day, like I said, they've got a great team. They've got a great team on paper and they those guys have their ability to take England to the next level. So they really needed that win and I hope it's it's like the building phase now to, to get them back onto good form because I don't want to see a team in the dumps. I really don't. Um, so hopefully we'll we'll see a better performance from them as they go on. I'm hoping because so I think yeah, England's internationals are done now um, until probably November if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But um, now South Africa are heading into the rugby championship. This is big. This is tough. This is going to be hard because why? You're playing a team like New Zealand who are the best in the world, who are strong, who are determined, who are passionate. That is going to be tough. So the fact that I've seen improvement, I'm going into this this tournament feeling a lot more confident, a lot better. Are we ready for New Zealand? That's going to be a video coming out later this week and I'll talk about that. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, Australia, Argentina, we've got to, we've got to play. We, we're weak in Argentina. We've seen it. We haven't won convincingly. Australia, we still also, we battle with. So there's a lot that we're going to be seeing and, and wanting to see from these teams as we go forward. So I'm excited for the the first time in probably over a year i'm really really excited to see where south african rugby is going to end up and where we're going to go because man we've got a great team too we just need to put the systems in place right coaching stuff which we clearly have now and all of that needs to gel together one thing i do ask us erasmus is i hope he keeps sia Khaleesi as captain i want us to build with sia and take sia to the world cup I don't want us to chop and change between Warren Whiteley, Dwayne Vermeerling, Evan Etzebeth when he's back. I don't want that. Select one captain and keep him till the end, unless he gets injured. Different story there. I want Sia to be the leader and grow and develop. I think rugby championship, maybe he might change. I don't know, but I hope not. So, yeah, to conclude, what a weekend it was. I'm going to recap Australia, Ireland. Um, soon and as well as um, New Zealand you'll all get that today and tomorrow so make sure you subscribe as I just said earlier um, so much to look forward to what a, a really amazing international series we've had as for a South African fan I'm smiling from ear to ear I'm a really happy um, as an English fan I think you guys should start smiling again because you picked up a good win and just remember discipline kept you guys there your discipline was strong you didn't give away stupid penalties like South Africa did um, and you continued the momentum and were strong. You didn't like lose it. You, you look good. So I think there's a lot to look forward to as an English fan. Um, for South Africa, keep this momentum. We've got super rugby. Hopefully those players play hard and don't get injured because I want a good team for the rugby championship, especially against the mighty All Blacks. I want a good team for that. So, man, I'm really going to miss international rugby. We've got to wait... Uh, what's it about over a month for it to start again but again so much more videos still to come on this channel reviews talks about various things i want to redo a world cup video that i did earlier because so much has changed in this rugby world that we're going to need to talk about it yes Huta as well so it's going to be exciting so make sure you hit that subscribe button let me know your thoughts on the game what were your strong points, weaknesses, and do you agree? Not really much to take away. We won the series. Um, yes, we have our issues, but for me, the conditions were just so damn hard for us to really go and, and, and slaughter the guys. I think they put up a valiant effort, but let's move on. Rusty tested that team. We know where they are. We know where the weak points are, the weak players are. We know where the strong players are. So take those strong players, pull them together, and hello, South Africa, we are back. England, keep smiling. It was lack of playing, you guys. I'm going to miss that tournament. It was an awesome series. From yesterday, I go um, going against England. Today, I support England in the football, so I'm a very dear McCord, um supporter, but that's the way it is but thanks so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comment section down below what were your thoughts of the game and what are you looking forward to the most as we move forward into onto international level world cup is coming coming closer it's going to be exciting 
hit the subscribe button if you haven't already it's that red button down there hit it hit it hit it hit the bell icon as well so you're always notified for all future uploads thanks so much for watching thanks for the support over england versus south africa it was a truly special series and i look forward to recapping the other games coming out today and tomorrow stay safe never give up cheers